Hey YouTube, Ian from Big Rock Moto. So I'm out for a quick overnight camping trip on the GS, which is parked over there. And I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of a basic camping setup for a really simple trip. Um, keep in mind, I'm in the summertime, it's fairly mild. I don't have a lot of special gear. I don't need a lot of cold weather gear. Um, I stopped to get food on the way here, which is there. So, you know, this is pretty simple setup, but if you want to keep really light and really basic, this is a good, uh, thing to think about so let me walk you through what i have <clears throat> so everything here that you see fits in uh, a pair of tusk olympus or not olympus tusk pilot panniers on my bike I'll put a picture of it here which are pretty small panniers i think they're like uh, 30 liters per side and then my tent is just strapped over the uh, top rack of the bike and that's all there is to it i don't even have a tank bag today on this trip um, I've had the same REI tent for, gosh, a long time. You can see it's kind of faded. Spend a lot of money on a tent if you want to and get fancy, but honestly, this tent has worked for me just great. It, it's a Camp Dome, I think. Um, Camp Dome 2. I did buy a new sleeping bag recently. I believe this is a Kelty Tuck 20 degree bag. Uh, I've got my air mattress here, which is... I think this is Biz, Big Agnes. Yeah, Big Agnes Air Core Insulated. This is a pretty good air mattress. I'll show you when it's when it's filled up. It's pretty pretty thick enough and pretty pretty comfortable. Um, I ride with a Camelback, so I've got a couple liters of water on me when it's the hot weather like this. Even in the winter, I still ride with that. Um, the riding suit that I was wearing today was the Revit Cayenne Pro. Really nice ventilated gear, which we'll have a separate review on. You can see the pants there. Boots and socks that smell really nice right now. Um, this stuff sack is actually one of the waterproof uh, bags for my panniers, but for now I'm just using it for my clean clothes. So I've, I just throw clean clothes in here, pack, you know, when I leave the house, throw change of clothes for what you need, um, jacket for tonight, stuff like that. Obviously helmet, a couple pairs of gloves for different conditions. A book, I like to read a book when I camp in a tent. Um, then I've got a toiletry kit, which is just real basic stuff. So it's like, you know, soap. Um, stuff to brush your teeth. Um, I've got this real small camping uh, towel. It's super absorbent. I've had this thing for a long time. The brand is called Aquis, A-Q-U-I-S. Um, there's all sorts of ones like that, but they pack real small and they're super absorbent, so um, pretty nice to have that. Then I've had the same jet boil for like 10, 15 years. I guess I could get a new one, but this one still works, so I don't care. Um, this fuel bottle is, these small fuel bottles are nice because they fit inside, but you know, you can have the larger bottle if you want. Um, a mug for making coffee, tea, stuff like that, and I've got these uh, collapsible utensils. Um, a lighter, some drink mixes here. Headlamp, very important to have a headlamp. Um, these actually were in my in my bike in an easy to get to place, so just, uh, you know, snacks and stuff if I don't get lunch or, or can't get dinner. Um, that's melted chocolate, by the way. Sorry, it looks kind of bad. For the morning, um, since I was out of um, instant coffee, I just have one of these things for tomorrow morning to give me some caffeine. So in the interest of being thorough, um, in the um, pockets of my jacket, I've got, you know, my bike key, got a charging cord for my phone, which I have a plug into the bike there if I need to charge it, some sunscreen, a multi-tool spot tracker. And then in my pants, I've got some things like I've got a cloth to wipe, to clean my uh, windshield visor, I've got um, some some other just small items in the in the uh, pants, and then I might have something some minor things in the in the Camelback. But you know, overall, you don't need that much stuff to do this. You really don't. I mean, again, um, two two small panniers and throw the tent over the top. That's really all you need. Now, if you're in cold weather, if you're going multi days, you're going to need more food. You're going to need uh, things like that. So, a few tips for you to make things simpler. I don't like to do a lot of cooking when I am doing moto camping just because of all the gear you got to carry and carrying food and, and you got to keep stuff cold or whatever. It's kind of a pain. If I am going to cook when I'm doing this, I'll use those dehydrated meal, meals that you can get. So those are fine and you can, you know, just heat up water in a jet boil and make those. Um, but usually what I like to do is like stop at a Subway or get a sandwich or a burrito like when I'm an hour or two away from where I'm going to camp. I mean, if you're really remote somewhere, then that may not work, but... You know, typically you can pass through a little town or something, grab something to eat, and then you don't have to do all the cooking and clean up at camp. Because my MO in the morning is I like to get up, pack up, and leave when it's ride when it's cool, especially in the summer.
Okay. Um, here's the big Agnes pad, which, like I said, is you know it's pretty thick. That's like a few inches thick, and um, obviously with these, if you've ever camped in a tent with one of these, you know when it gets cold overnight uh, because of the change in air pressure with temperature, they tend to deflate a little bit. But um, this one, this one's been pretty good. Um, the sleeping bag is, is nice and new. It's a pretty good bag. I won't need that much warmth tonight, so I may have the sleeping bag kind of open. Um, but you can see, just real basic. And if I was going to have bad weather, I would definitely put on the rain fly. I probably put on the rain fly anyway because you know you tend to get more condensation than you think. Um, so we've got that uh, and then oh if it's bad weather i'll bring like my riding gear and stuff uh, in the tent with and i don't want to get wet you know so keep that in mind before you go to bed especially if you've had some drinks uh just you know have stuff uh in your tent if you don't want it getting all wet um pretty basic oh and then you're probably wondering what do i do for a pillow well i'm way ahead of you so I have those inflatable pillows. I can't find where they are. But what I do, um, usually on a trip like this, is I just find one of my stuff sacks, like something like this. Or you know what works really well, actually, is the uh, bag for the sleeping bag. This um, sack for the sleeping bag. Just throw some clean clothes in here, um, tie it up, and then you've got yourself a pillow. It's not as comfortable as, as at home, obviously, but uh, it'll work. Here, I'll show you. Okay, see? Put some clothes in there. Soft clothes like a uh, jacket, I have like a puffy jacket, or um, your clothes for the next day you're going to wear, whatever. Perfectly good little pillow. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not going to be a five-star resort, but it's better than nothing. And it reuses something that you already pack with you. I don't want to pack an extra pillow. It'd be just un way unnecessary um, when you're trying to travel light. Even if you have a big touring bike like a GS, it's, uh, I think there's benefits to really packing light and not bringing too much stuff. So just a quick shot of the bike. So, you know, I had the tent. I have used rock straps, had the tent strapped up here. These are the panniers I was talking about, the uh, Tusk Pilot. I'll probably get the bigger Olympus ones, mostly because I want to get the plate that mounts to the rack and then the bag like clicks in instead of having to, because I didn't have these on. So, you know, you got to do a lot of straps. This gets a little annoying, but hey, first world problems, you know. Got my sunglasses there, I ride with sunglasses on my helmet. And uh, yeah, pretty basic. You can see these bags are not that big and that's all I really needed. You know, by the way, I'll have a video later, but that's the uh, Bridgestone Battle Axe Adventure Cross AX41 with about 2,000 miles on it um, and it's almost done. I'm going to have to put a new tire on when I get home tomorrow. That's uh, pretty terrible wear, but the, the tire does perform pretty well. Uh, but I, I'm never going to get it again because there's just no way that I want to change a rear tire every 2,000 miles. Now granted this bike is pretty torquey, but I don't ride that hard. And uh, a lot of that's been pretty easy riding, so... Pretty bad. The front, the front's fine. I could probably get two fronts to one rear, but you know what? Screw these tires. I'm not going to get these anymore. Um, they just don't last long enough for me, at least not on this bike. So your mileage may vary. Anyway, I'm going to go enjoy camp. Uh, see you guys next time. If the video was useful for you, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ride safe. Happy camping. See you next time.